right? And um, look at the screen, I have about uh, five topics. Normally each topic would take about two hours, but with Mark say I only have 40 minutes, so <laughs> bear with me. Yeah, and, uh, we can have Q&A here. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so after each topic, uh, everything is related to A, okay? If I mention B, then B will go back to A, C will go back to A, D will go back to A, E will go back to A, and etc. right? Let, let us begin by looking at um, Taoism and uh, what actually is is Tao or Taoism, okay? Uh, throughout your readings or your understanding, uh, general consensus, Taoism, one is philosophy, right? And the other one is religion, am, am I right? Okay, um, hold that thought for a moment. Uh, we, we will go into that, uh, what Taoism, at least to my understanding, okay, uh, is all about. <coughs> We go back to 2,500 years ago, okay, uh, the book called Tao Te Ching, Dou Da Ting, uh, was written by Lao Tzu, and it was about um, 2,500 years ago. And the unearthed material that uh, found by archaeologists, actually the book Tao Te Ching does not exist. The real book exists is called Lao Tzu, only later on, Emperor Leo, um, Leo Mu Dai changed the text according to Tao Te Ching. Okay, you get, get what I mean? Okay, only later become a scriptures, right? And why, why is that? Okay, why is that? Now, going back to 2,500 years ago, that period of time, Lao Tzu came out, Confucius came out, Gautama Buddha came out. And later, Jesus Christ came mm. out. Why did period? Okay, we hold that thought for a moment. Then let's go back 5,000 years ago, okay? Our famous Emperor Huang, okay? When uh, at that time he was the emperor, um, the king of the emperor, right? He went to this mountain, Wu uh, Tong, uh, sorry, Hong, Hong Dong San, Hong Dong San, to seek down from Guang Sheng Ji. Well, who is Guang Xingji? He's actually uh, the deity or the god at the time. Emperor, Emperor Huang asked him, I came here with sincere respect, okay? What is Tao, may I ask? Now, remember, this 5,000 years ago, mm -hmm. this emperor was seeking Tao. I think I better, you know. Then, what Guang, Guang Chenzi say? I cannot teach you Tao, okay? When you govern in your tenure, you can't see getting a clouds, it won't rain, all right? Leaves won't fall until autumn. Now what does that tell you? About timing, right? Probably timing is not right. I'm leading you now, okay, to that uh, 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 situation. Then he further said it, first migrated not timely, meaning that you know, when, when, when the winter comes, the, world, the birds will migrate, you know. Mm. But before winter comes, the birds migrated. It's also according to timing, right? So I cannot discuss with you about Tao. Go back, all right? Then, Emperor Huang came down from the mountain, deep inside. I don't know what he thinks, okay? I'm making a guess, okay? Mm. He probably has some insights. Then he, we came, he went back to his small country, Oh, this whole bunch of Chinese that we're not going to get into. Mm. He invented calendar, mm. uh, cosmology. He built ships, bow and arrows, and according to history, he got few wives, uh, invented silk, chopstick, etc., etc., mm. and Chinese medicine. Mm. He came up with a book called Wang Dai Lui King, right? Then five metaphysics. What is, what is all this about? Hold your talk, and then after you go along, then you might get the idea. After he got all this, then he went back to um, Guang Chenzi again, you know. Then this time he asked, again, okay, what is Tao and quest of longevity? Now, the first question was, why Tao? what is Tao, right? Now, he asked, what is Tao and the quest of longevity? Now, inside his mind, Tao and longevity probably the same thing, okay? Now we go on further. Guang Chen's, Guang Chen's reply say, actually he 
quite a lot of Chinese. <laughs> but to summarize what what he uh, came up with, quietness or void or emptiness. Okay. Now, what is that? Okay, we'll go. We'll go on. Okay. So we can summarize that. Okay, uh, based on his uh, quest and his uh, journey, we we came up with the idea that actually, what is what is Tao? And okay, the state of mind is to the quest of longevity and eternally. Okay, eternally associated with quietness. We'll go into that later. Okay, just hold your thought for that moment. Okay, then. We remember that when I mentioned five metaphysics, all right? Five metaphysics is the journey when he quests for Tao, okay? This picture obviously is in Chinese, all right? Mm -hmm. um, two concepts Big Bang theory and the God particle came from Taoism, whether you like it or not. <laughs> okay? All right, now, quietness. Is this stage void, emptiness, big bang, wu ji to tai ji, all right? Yin and yang, five elements, okay? From this picture, we can see the formation of universe formation of the earth by the form of metaphysics, the application of metaphysics, all right? Remember why, when I say quietness? This is Wu Chi stage to Tai Chi. If we use Big Bang, then the scientists will not use the word Big Bang. Probably they use Wu Chi then, right? Okay? Tai Chi, this is God particle that the scientist now is trying to prove uh, uh, the basic element of God's particle. Now, from nothingness to oneness, and then yin and yang merge, four sector, four season, and came up with ba, eight type trigon, ba mm -hmm. This is basically eight directions, all right? <coughs> and then, one wu means everything, all creation. You're having the whole, or at least part of the picture at this moment? Mm -hmm. Mark, you all right? Yeah. Okay, good, all right. Now, then we come to the word of heaven. No, this is a, actually a, a misused word in Chinese. Mm. The word Tian means more than heaven. Okay, it's actually cosmic. It's the um, uh, um, everything above the skies, all right? So people associate metaphysics with heaven and earth, you know, heaven mm. is actually not a true heaven per se, okay? And then I Ching is another scripture a uh, few thousand years ago, uh, came up with a certain I Ching based on Bakwa theory, okay? From 8 trigon emerged to 8 times 8, 64 Gua, okay? Mm -hmm. I Ching is the um, um, books about changes and according to the set of Gua, certain changes emerge, all right? So the first Gua is about heaven, it's about cosmic. Qin Gua, Qian Gua. The first Gua is Tin Han King, Guan Ji Yi Ji Tiao Ba Sing. What does that mean? The first Gua about King is relentlessly, okay? The law of cosmic. This is the heavenly law of first Gua, Qin Gua, all right? Bear with me, all right? What does this say? It simply means the sun comes from east and set from west, okay? The most important part is, <laughs> it's not like human, right? We will not get temple trend, it won't come out from the west <laughs> and set from the east. They will create chaotic. Now hold your thought for that moment. Everybody takes for granted. The air is free, the water is free, but we cannot live without air and water, right? Am I right? Okay? The sun comes out from the east, you guys take for granted. The world 
is five billion years, you know. Mm -hmm. Take five billion years to come up with what we have today. <laughs> it's not granted. Right? It's not free. So what does that tell you? Okay? A trust is created here. Right? I promise you the sun will come from the east. It will come from, from the east. We have four seasons for you to grow crops, uh, harvesting in autumn. You know, and hibern hibernate in winter, right? So a trust is created here. Now we go to the last part on Earth. Earth is another um, element or second gua in the 64 gua in I Ching called Kun gua, the second gua. Okay? Remember the Qian gua is all. Straight line. Now it's all broken lines. It's father and mother. All right. So we come to the earth part. Earth is just like a mother, mother nature, a mother. You know, give love, give nurture to all living things. We all agree on this, right? Okay. So what does that tell you when? The heavenly law tell that you have trust. The earthly law that gives you love. When the trust and love created, the bond is um, emerge, and that bond actually impact on human. Now, a lot of people misunderstood the concept on heaven. They treat heaven mm. is just heaven, all right? Mm. Like I mentioned, it's cosmic. Mm. But when you treat humans as humans, then you are wrong, okay? It's all living beings, soul and spirit, that impact uh, by the earth and the heavenly law. You see where I'm going to now, mm. all right? Any questions so far? So we have the law of the um, heaven, earth. Now we come to the law of human. So what? This is the Xin Gua and the Quan Gua, all right? So what do we do? What should we do when the love is there, the trust is there, all right? We should also. Everybody knows that all religions talk about love, passions, uh, uh, to be kind to another, especially uh, Christian talk about love. Uh, Confucianism talk about passion and uh, kindness, humane. These actually are the road that we should follow, right? In order to uh, balance up with the heavenly and earth, earthly law. To summarize, trust, love, human, virtue of Tao and the, Now remember the, the scripture of Lao Tzu, mm -hmm. then later changed to Tao Te Ching, mm -hmm. was actually try to accommodate or try to fit into this category here. <laughs> okay. Then we come to this part here. That this part is uh, actually quite sensitive, right? When we talk about karma, we talk about dharma, we mm. talk about deeds, all right? And this is actually what, we, what my intention is to bring uh, to you that this law is actually simple cause and effect. And most people think that what we do uh, might impact later on in our life. But for most of us, think that. Or most of religions, the religions think that we only have this life. We're looking at probably 4D level, right? But beyond that, when science cannot prove, we don't even think about it, or we cannot uh, imagine what the other dimension uh, should be, right? Okay. So this part here, even Lao Tzu mentioned that, okay. 
your cultivation of good things, the cause will lead you to a effect. A good karma or dharma will bring you a good uh, uh, dharma. Okay, we agree on this. Everybody agree on this, right? But even in I Ching too, Tao, uh, 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 Taoism, Lao Tzu, I Ching is mostly Confucianism, right? Mm -hmm. Two school of thoughts have the same kind of conclusion. If you read between the lines from the text, all about cultivating good deeds that will lead you to abundances, right? Now, a lot of people try not to think uh, 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 on surface. Abundance doesn't mean win lotto, a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Abundance means uh, could be your spiritually free. You know, you're free from attachment. Um, your content on certain thing or certain issue that that you, you engage in, right? This is another quote from I Ching as well, right? Now go back to uh, uh, religious part. You know, like I mentioned, why all of a sudden? You know, about two thousand years, two thousand five years old came up with these sages, and then some people treat Jesus as uh, a god. So why, why that period? Why not before? Have you ever think of that? I will come back to this part. The book came out, Lao Tzu, Tao Te Ching, all right? Tao is basically, a lot of people say, ah, oh, we live in nature, mm -hmm. um, concept is rather, concept, some concept rather vague, you know, okay? The reason, we'll come back to that later. The, 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 for the past uh, few thousand years, it was the loss of Tao. Then, the loss of the, they came up with the book Tao Te Ching. Mm. Right? You, you got that? Mm. Then, the loss of Li, mannerism, or um, righteousness, 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 gone. Then Confucius came out. So a lot of people say that Tao is uh, dealing with nature, um, Confucianism is dealing with social mm. uh, har har harmony. Nature harmony and social harmony. This is what basically the surface of uh, uh, Tao and Confuci Confucius teachings. This is only surface. But more to that, more to that. What happened five, uh, 2005 years ago? Okay, when everybody lived peacefully without the, you know? What happened to today's state? This state is <coughs> uh, probably a euphoric state, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need Tao Te, you don't need uh, 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 mannerism, righteousness, you don't need that if you look at Chinese Lai Yi. Okay? So, so come back to this, this part here. When we stray away from Tao Te, when we uh, uh, stray away from uh, mannerism, from virtues, then things start to collapse. Uh, came up with Buddhism. Buddhism believed in reincarnation. All right? It's to avoid bad coming deaths and, you know, um, beware of cause and effects, right? Christianity, Christianity, why are we born with sins, you know? Why? <laughs> Have you thought of that? Just because an Adam if eat an <laughs> forbidden apple, it does not make sense. It's just probably a story to tell you, right? This must be something behind it, right? Just, just put aside religious part here. There must be, must be something beyond that that happened. I believe that they also believe in Reincarnation. Mm. Otherwise, you won't repent your sins. Why are you born with sins? Why? Okay? Lay guy, think of that, okay? Islam too. Islam, Buddha, you know, 
uh, those uh, without means we need to also you know uh, cut down on our guilt and doing some good things then we can go to heaven if we do um, more bad things we go to heaven first then later we go to heaven mm -hmm. this is what they believe in but why then again why repent your sins <laughs> all right okay confusionism the, ba the basic confusion is talking about the relation between father and son, the ruler and subject, the uh, el elder, the wife and husband, the elder siblings and the younger siblings, the relationship between humans. And keep on emphasizing, never repeat the same mistake twice. But that does not mean, don't repeat it again and again what you do now. Okay? You actually beyond that, it's more than that. What have you done in past life? Don't repeat again this time. Now, if, if you're doing something wrong, you go to hell. If you're doing something right, you must go to heaven. Mm. If you're allowed to live again, you become human. This is, they, they make sense at all? No? But you know where, where, where I'm heading towards you, okay? So the, the part that reincarnation, I think uh, uh, a lot of uh, people or religious try to um, avoid it or ignore it because the Bible did not mention this, okay? Quran did not mention this. But Taoism, Confucianism, and Buddhism emphasizing this from the first day, all right? So the quest of Tao is to achieve immortality, eternity, not to reincarnate again. This is actually the basic uh, or the ultimate uh, goal of Tao. Okay? But like I say again, um, it's nothing got to do with religious, nothing got to do with uh, 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 the philosophical part of it. Okay? Right? So back to um, uh, the question from the beginning, uh, from Emperor Huang down to Lao Tzu and down to what we learn and what we do today. Actually, Tao is the way of life, okay? And uh, come, go back to the part of void and emptiness, okay? If we, if, if we do not want to... Uh, um, Reborn again, reincarnate again. Where we go back to? Okay, we go back to serenity, the void part, the quietness part. Okay, that part is another world. Okay, it's a soul, the spirit part of it. That is the ultimate teaching of Tao. All right. Now, the the the, the like I said, the slide, the subject that uh, I normally give is about two hours per section. Mm. Uh, try to cram everything together. You might have a tough time to uh, uh, digest. Right? But at least I want you to live with the idea that Tao is not what I read from the books. That is my main point.